in this session we will uh, get an introduction about the elements which form as a cycle and are important in performing individually uh, in the business process so we will go through the elements one by one number one raw materials so since uh, as the SAP MM module uh, deals with majorly raw materials and also semi with semi-finished uh, products so here uh, I will take an example of uh, raw materials uh, in the P2P cycle so the first need is or first important element is raw materials second vendor so the company needs a vendor uh, to supply the raw materials regularly uh, along with a good service and delivery number three request for quotation request for quotation is a document generated by the company uh, in the process of uh, identifying new vendors in the market and approaching them and getting quotations from their side so request for quotation is an initial document in the p2p cycle process number four quotation is the next important document in this process so which is sub given by the vendor from their side vendors from their side uh, with details which was asked by the company initially in request for quotation document so vendor uh, will provide all the necessary details or reply to the company with the help of quotation document like what material that they can supply at what price so on and so on okay number five purchase order so the next important document in the process is purchase order the company generates a purchase order to the vendor or a selected vendor in fact uh, and gets the materials procured on a regular basis so purchase order is a legal document and also is a very important document in the p2p cycle process number six delivery channel so delivery challenge is a document generated by the vendor uh, at the time of uh, supplying or delivering the materials to the company so, number seven vendor invoice after delivering the materials and, and after company uh, uh, receiving the materials from vendor so the vendor uh, subsequently sends an uh, invoice uh, to the company for which has to be paid to the vendor so it will contain the pure reference the materials quantity price tax part everything this is also an important document and last but not the least number eight invoice payment so based on the logistic invoice verification of vendor invoice with reference to the purchase order uh, the company makes the payment to the vendor for that particular invoice so this is how a general standard procure to pay cycle works in any kind of business process or in any kind of industry in business
so in the next session we will little more elaborate about the topic thank you